there, everyone. Just waiting a minute for it to kind of get going here. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is one of our 21st Century Superhuman live shows. And today I want to remind you about being a creator. I am a creator. We are creators. It's so important for us to remember that every day. So we are creators. This is just the most important thing we can remember. And it is so easy to get caught up in all of the dark agendas and the negative news. So my books, 21st Century Superhuman, and there's four volumes. The first one is out in Spanish, English, audio, paperback, Kindle. It's called Shift of the Ages. It's called Book One, Shift of the Ages by Carrie Kirastar Ellis. And we talk about all of this. Hi, hi, Anne. How are you today? Um, we talk about all of this. What this is living in a quantum reality. So we're living in a quantum reality. What in the heck does that mean? It means that we are like a frog in the pond, that when it kicks its leg, a wave goes through our reality. A wa the waves go through the pond. And we live in a, in a dimension of time and space where everything that we think, everything that we do, actually has an effect on bringing into being that which we see around us. These are kind of new concepts to get, but when we start living with these, it really changes our lives. I remember there was a book called um, Space, Time, and Beyond, I think, that I read probably, I don't know, back in the late 1980s or something. It was some, er some of the early books out on quantum thought. And I remember I used to read it and, and say to myself over and over, what I think and what I do is having an effect on this reality. So we need to remind ourselves of that. And it's why I say, breathe, smile, and love. Because as we do, we literally change our neurobiology. This is the simplest lesson that we can get. As we change our neurobiology, we literally change what's showing up around us. Are we living in abundance? Are good things flowing to us? Are we happy? Do we have nice people around us? Or are we seeing all the corruption of the old that is breaking down? Now, yes, and we'll talk to you more this week on this, we are in what is called the great shift of the ages. More light is pouring into the planet. We are becoming awakened. We are in what is called the great awakening. So light is pouring into the planet. That which has existed in the shadows can no longer exist. And it is literally disintegrating. It is going out of form. And while that happens, we're in what's called a chaotic node. So we're seeing all this crazy stuff in the news, these dark agendas being revealed that existed in the shadows when we were in this half of the 26,000 year cycle of darkness. That's amazing. And now we're, we, what the Mayans talked about is that we're in a great shift of the ages. So we're moving into a new cycle. It's the ending of the old cycle, the beginning of a new. And we're, we're moving into a new cycle where there is more light, where we are more awake, where we're able to create more good things. So as we look at our chart here, this is what I call the emotional tone scale. And what I love about the emotional tone scale is it can tell us where we're at. So look at the scale and ask yourself, where am I at? I have the awakening down at the bottom here, but the awakening really goes at the top. But this is the process of awakening. So at the bottom of at the bottom of the chart of the emotional tone scale is unconsciousness. And unconsciousness is at the base chakra. We can connect these with all of our chakras. At the second chakra is apathy, like I just don't care. Unconsciousness might be going out and getting drunk or doing drugs or something until we are sleeping all the time. Just we go to sleep. We are out of it. We are not even present. And then apathy is I just don't care. But the other side of apathy is action. When we come out of apathy and we do care, we begin taking action. So grief is at the next level and it's at the level of the third chakra 
or this is also the pancreas, the adrenals, um, the this is this is our power center. And when we're at grief and we're sad about everything, we've kind of given up our power because the truth is. I am a creator. I have power in all these situations. <laughs> Looks like David Hawking's mixed with Carrie. Love you, Anne. Thank you. So as we, as we acknowledge that we feel grief about what's going on, and it will be natural for these things to come up. It will be natural for our unconsciousness to arise, for our apathy to arise. And what we want to do is be able to notice these on the way by. We want to notice that, wow, I just didn't really care about that. It, I had apathy about it. Or, man, I was just asleep in that phase. And then as these things rise, or it made me really sad. You know, we hear about all of these things that are coming out of the shadows, the dark agendas, um, sickness, vaccinations, 5G networks that are damaging, that are now getting converted into something good, believe it or not. Um, and then we have all of the, you know, the, the narrative that's gone on with the coronavirus, which include, has included social distancing, wearing masks, which is part of the rituals of dark, satanic um, initiations. So we're, we're being immersed in these alternative dark narratives. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you, too. As these as these, as these shadows are coming out of darkness and breaking down, and we may feel grief about them. We may feel apathy. Oh my gosh, this is so much I just don't care. Or we may feel fear. But remember, the opposite of fear is love. And when we can breathe, smile, and love, we literally change ourselves to change the world. And so remember, that is the opposite of fear. When we feel ourselves in fear about, oh my gosh, what might happen? The 5G network might happen. It might be bad. But actually, no, it's being changed because so many people are waking up. It's being changed into a positive thing in our world that is going to bring peace and harmony everywhere. And all of this, you know, this narrative about this made up coronavirus process that's gone on and the masks and the social distancing, which are part of literally dark satanic rituals. So, you know, the entire society of the world, the switch got flipped on and people are now standing up all over the world saying, no, I'm not going to participate. I need to plug my computer in. Hold on one second as I do this. So as these dark agendas are being revealed, and we may feel unconsciousness, apathy, grief, fear, or anger even, internal anger, external anger, we can notice ourselves going through this emotional tone scale. And then we have become aware of human save slavery, human sacrifices, um, sexual slavery, all of these things that are that are being revealed in the disclosure news, it's called. Um, and then knowing that there's poverty, there's hunger. Humanity has been pitted against humanity, and we've had wars. These are all things to be unconscious, apathetic, to be sad for ourselves or for them. Um, even being sorry for other people is grief. It's down here at the third level. And remember, we may have problems, health problems in these chakras when we're stuck in these emotions. But when we can find these emotions that are stuck in these chakras, we can begin clearing those out. And as we begin clearing those out, we begin rising up the emotional tone scale. So we want to clear this old data. And how do we clear this old data? which is our anger, our grief, our fear. We cancel, release, and let go. As things come up, we cancel, release, and let go. And we breathe, smile, and love. It's that simple. How can it be that simple? It can be that simple. And as we so do this, we enter into joy we become a creator of the positive vibration that we'd like to live in. So it's not just imagining what we'd like, money in my bank account, a house, a great partner, a great place to live, a community, all these things that we wish for. <coughs> as we 
what we have to go beyond that and let go of the dark shadows, the, our response to the dark shadows. And so that is called canceling, releasing, and letting go. Unconsciousness, apathy, grief, fear, anger, internal anger, external anger. I'm mad at them. I'm out there writing or internal. I'm just feeling it inside and holding it in. So as we let go of those things, this literally begins changing us. And when we come up into pain, that's where our intuition is. And when we've suppressed pain and we feel pain about what's going on in our world, we've also suppressed our intuition. So as we begin clearing these things, we clear our old data. And this may be data from our generations. Grief about war, sadness about what happened to our people, feeling like we were impoverished. All of these things, they're even carried inside us from our generation. So as we begin to clear these things, and I want to ask, are you clearing these things for yourself? Are you finding a way to notice what's coming up inside of you, to cancel, release, and let go and say, I'm going to go on and I'm going to be a creator in this world. I am going to create the reality that I desire by entering into my intuition, awakening all of those supernatural senses, our intuitive sense, our psychic sense, our, our knowing sense, our inner knowing, always listening to the third eye, always listening to our heart, and letting those things drive the boat along with a mind that has been trained to understand how to really live as the creator that we are. So as we move up through this emotional tone scale, we can literally move into joy. We can say, wow, there's a perfect unfolding going on in the world. There is a perfect change taking place. Wow, I'm seeing the old crumbling around me. Yes, the old can no longer hold form. These old dark agendas from the shadows can no longer hold form because so much light is pouring into the planet. So many of us are waking up in this great awakening and we are changing our vibration along with that light coming in. And as that happens, we take care, take better care of our bodies. We eat natural foods. We get outdoors and have natural movement. Maybe we have a garden at our home. We gather with friends who are like-minded. Maybe we gather online. Maybe we gather in our home community, wherever it is. But we begin enriching our life with others that are choosing to live in joy. And as we clear all this old data, and we move up through the emotional tone scale and we participate in this great awakening, we breathe, smile, and love because these are the things that really change our neurobiology. And as we change ourselves, we change the world. So remember, all of these, as we see the news on all these dark narratives, we can just be an observer and we can say, okay, I cancel, relief, release, and let go my feelings about these things that may be unconsciousness, like it's just so in the dark, I don't even know what's going on. I haven't even been red-pilled yet. Or our apathy, wow, I just don't care. It's too much for me to handle. Or our grief, which is, oh, it's terrible, terrible for them, terrible for us. Our fear, wow, what if something happens to me? And we can convert our fear into love. As we cancel, release it, and let it go, and we breathe and smile. And then when we start letting go of our anger, you know, I'm anger, angry at this population. I'm angry at that population. I'm angry at what this politician did. I'm angry at what happened to the world. I'm angry at them hurting the children. And we begin canceling and releasing and letting go our anger. We begin literally having a voice. And remember, your voice is important. Your voice in these times of great change, even if you're just putting up a meme now and then, even if you're messaging your friends. And then we go up into where our pain has been stored, which is around our third eye. And we begin awakening that pine cone in the head, the third eye, this gland, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland. We begin awakening those. I can feel chills just as it's happening. And, and, and then it goes through our whole body, this current of life. 
this current of enthusiasm, this current of joy. Oh, wow. We begin opening that up, that pineal gland, our ability to sense, to know, to follow our heart, to follow our intuition, to literally be a voice. And we may have previously been afraid to be a voice because what will they do to me? Well, you know, we have all this censoring going on right now and people are being shut down for sharing truth that is dismantling the old system. So we need to be really wise as serpents and harmless as doves and share in ways, sharing memes can't really be tracked. So when you share a meme, you're literally sharing a picture that has words in it. And when you do that, that kind of gets through the system a little better than everything else. So that's one good trick. Another good trick is be on multiple social media platforms. And I am on, I post regularly on Instagram. I have a lot of recipes on there and a lot of my videos and a lot of kind of what we're doing in our daily life. And uh, like I just posted a video of, um, of me practicing Jedi arts with the fire. We learn how to, how to merge with the elements. We learn how to merge with mother nature. This is our medium that we live in, that we create in. And it's important to tap into those skills in ourselves. And we'll have some classes on that coming up in our member content area that we're working on right now. So I just want to encourage you all, remember, I am a creator. That's the most important thing you can remember every day. And cancel, release, and let go the old data, the anger, the hurt, the fear, the grief. And cancel, release, and let go these lower vibrational emotions. And breathe, smile, and love, because as we do, we change the world. I'll put the links for my books under this video. This video will also end up on my 21st Century Superhuman YouTube channel. And I love you all. Keep being part of this great awakening. We're counting on you. The children of New Earth are counting on you to step into who you truly are, Follow us at 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. Go there and put your email in for as we're kind of moving around and negotiating the censoring, we want to make sure we don't lose track of you and we can keep you updated. So much love, breathe, smile, and love, and we shall see you soon on the great rainbow of light. Okay, ciao.